Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm here at Garrity RV Supercenters today to show you a fantastic product. In fact, it's one of my favorites of all time. This is a Northwood Arctic Fox. I actually own one of these myself. I have for over 10 years and it, I love it. It's, it's just as good now as it was the day I bought it. If you're getting a little tired of seeing a lot of trailers that seem to all look alike, Northwood's an independent company. They're their own outfit. They have their own way of doing things. In fact, this is one of the last truly independent companies in our entire industry. Also, Northwood hand builds their coaches. They make their own chassis. They're quite unique in this. They mill their own materials and they're built on small production lines at a small shop. Not a great big massive series of production facilities across the country. So they bring things to the table that, that production type companies just simply don't have the ability to do. So I love this thing. I've bought mine. I've sold them to personal friends and family. Now the first thing you got to know about a Northwood Arctic Fox is that it is a true four seasons coach. And that means all of the holding tanks and gate valves and all of the wastewater systems are completely internal. So you can use this well below freezing temperatures. In fact, this is very popular up north and out in the Midwest. This is the kind of trailer that if your furnace is on, you really don't have to worry about anything freezing. And the other thing is it has dual pane glass, R18 roof insulation, and uh, some other features that will really enhance its insulative inside so you stay comfortable whether it's really really hot or it's really cold. These have a full fiberglass end cap on the front that's like putting a, a, a hull of a boat on the end of your trailer. It completely wraps all the corners, edges, and seams from the top to the bottom on the front of the coach. It has shock absorbers, so it tows better than most trailers. It's just got, I could go on and on about all the details in this coach. Quite frankly, we don't have an hour and a half to do this video, which is how long a presentation might take on a coach that's this well built. So what I like to do is just point out a few of these highlights. This is a, a rig that actually has a roof rack on it with its ladder, and this is uh, telling you that it's a fully walkable roof and you can actually store stuff up there. Most trailers don't have any kind of a roof rack on them anymore. This is very unusual. It already has a solar panel, so you can continuously charge your batteries a little bit all the time, so you don't have to worry about walking into a trailer with dead batteries. It's a, it's a magnificent product in, in many ways. Now this particular one's great because it's well under 30 feet long. That means you can park it. Almost all the campgrounds will take a rig this size and you can also pull it without getting a huge massive truck. One thing a lot of people feel like is that getting a high quality trailer means it's going to be a very heavy trailer. This 25R model that we're going to look at today is very reasonable on weight. In fact, it's quite half ton towable. A lot of the half ton trucks are capable of pulling it. Of course, you always want to check your individual truck to be certain. Um, and uh, so let's go inside and I'll show you a little bit about the interior and, uh, and then we'll wrap up. Thanks for coming along with me. So here we are inside the Arctic Fox 25R. And the first thing you'll notice is this is not a low profile trailer. It's got nice, fully realized crowned interior. A very tall person is going to be comfortable in here. And the other thing is that this has a full residential size queen bed that you can walk around. So as we look at the front of the trailer, the first thing we notice is this nice open bedroom. A lot of trailers uh, try to give you a private closed off bedroom by either making it a, a wall or some sort of partition there. And what it has a tendency to do is make the trailer feel small. Not so with the 25R. The 25R is a very open, spacious feel, and this will sleep six if you would like, uh, assuming that some of the people are smaller. But um, it does work really well for a couple because you don't have to worry about walling off little sections of the trailer and making things super tight inside. There's a lot of storage in the front, shelf space, USB ports and 110 outlets for plug-ins, and even a laundry hamper so you can drop your dirties down into the front storage into a laundry basket. The bed lifts up and there's a tremendous amount of storage there, and they even provide you a couple of Arctic Fox lawn chairs and an Arctic Fox floor mat to walk in on. Uh, lots of little thoughtful details like that in the Arctic Fox. Now, as you look at the main living area, you'll see that we have, on this one, we have a sofa, and that sofa lifts up, and it's all storage underneath. You would be really surprised when you look at most trailers that don't have anywhere near the outside storage access that this one has. 
This has outside storage access across the front. It has complete outside storage underneath this whole couch area and also underneath both sides of the booth dinette inside outside. And there's an additional compartment under the, on the outside of the rear bath that is actually pre-wired to be a generator box if you want to build in a generator, but also works for all kinds of storage and it's metal line box. So you can put all kinds of things in there, not worry about them rolling around and digging things up or anything dirty like firewood, like kindling. That's a perfect thing to put in there. Okay, now the other thing is, as we look at the dinette booth, you'll see this is a little bit different. This is called a dream dinette. And what's exciting about it is that there aren't any foot posts in the way so that you can lower that table down easily. It just rides up and down on a traveler that's mounted to the wall. And the best thing is there's nothing in the way of your feet, so you don't have to fight your way in and out of the booth dinette and figure out where your feet are going to go once you're in there. It's wide open under there. I have the same dinette on mine, and I completely love it. Okay, now as we look across from the dinette, which is, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a nice slide-out. It's it's uh, not real long, so it helps my trailer stay short, but it gives me a really open, spacious interior. Okay, now, the other thing that's really unusual about the Arctic Fox 25R is it's got a lot of counter space. Most small trailers don't have enough counter space to make some people happy, and this has a lot of overhead storage. It has six drawers right under the galley cabinet, lots of space, a big stainless steel sink, and this sink is actually... Um, a double sink instead of just one big farm style sink so you can wash in one side and rinse in the other that's how I use mine so now the other thing is that as we look at the galley we have a, a large oven with a glass front a glass top three burners and a nice splash guard area around the oven you'll notice on some trailers that the splash guard is like an applique of some kind some some tiles and things like that. Sometimes you see, especially in hot regions, those things have a tendency to come down. You won't have that problem with this one. Okay, also here in the galley area, we have a centrally located TV that'll swivel around toward the bed, the couch, the dinette, or to the cooking area. So you can see this TV from any position in the trailer. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, also, you'll notice that there's a, a very, very large pantry. There's tremendous food storage in this trailer. And right across from it, speaking of food storage, we have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Now you go look, every trailer you see is going to be a 6 cube or it's going to be an 8 cubic foot refrigerator. I don't know anybody else who's putting in a 10 cubic foot refrigerator in a trailer this size. It's fantastic. Now the rear bath is one of the keys to this whole floor plan. When we go back to the bathroom, we see that it has very large wardrobe space, a really nice bathroom counter and sink with a cabinet good openness around the toilet area, and good access to the shower. But because it's in the very back of the trailer, it makes the whole trailer roomy. It feels open in here, so you don't have that congested feeling inside the trailer. I really, really love this 25R, and it's one of my first choices. Quite, quite frankly, if I had to buy another Arctic Fox, this trailer right here is the one I'd be buying. So that's a thumbnail sketch of the Arctic Fox 25R 2021 version. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to show you one in person. And of course, I'd be happy to answer your questions by phone or email. So just feel free to contact me directly. My name's Matt Elliott, and you can reach me anytime at 541-954-8495. You have a great day.